Fish slash mermaids. Fish anatomy is weird. I'm like, it's the one that I always struggle with the most. So I'm going to talk about stuff that people do a lot with mermaids. So don't do this, right? Stuff that I see with mermaids. One big thing that I see with mermaids is whoop, <laughs> drawing the body like this. This is the number one one, right? Where are the hips? Where's the leg length? Etc. So it's it's unrealistic in a lot of ways. Drawing mermaids like this is unrealistic in a lot of ways, right? Because you're missing a lot of anatomical stuff. You're missing a lot of the fun proportiony things, right? So fish themselves, a fish skeleton, generally a head attached to a long spine. So with mermaids, to you replace legs with a continuation of the spine below pelvis. Right, the pelvis is kind of around where your hips are. Your pelvis is what divides your torso from your legs. So that's generally that area. Sufficiently, so I had to attach to a long spine. So with mermaids, you combine the two. So you combine your human anatomy with your fish anatomy. Uh, so you replace the legs with a continuation of a spine below the pelvis. Right? You keep your pelvis in there. You want to keep your hips in there to allow for the human shape to be allowed in there, but you continue the spine below the pelvis. So that means that your tail at the very minimum has to be the same length as what your legs would normally be. Okay, so if we keep our pelvis in there, extend the hips more. If we were to just draw the legs, our legs would be kind of the same length here. So really our tail at the very minimum, at the very minimum, would be about this long, right? At the very, very minimum. But that tends to not look as cool, so we usually make them a lot longer. <laughs> but it tends to look a little bit nicer if you continue the hip shape into the tail, right? This pelvis shape. And then you swap into fish. Generally, you want to keep the pelvis. Then the anatomy, blend the transition of the hips into the tail, so not just straight in. We want to make sure that we continue the hips, keep the pelvis in there, feel a little bit more weighty right we want to have the curve in there at the minimum your tail length should be the same as legs often looks better when longer below if you'd like to support the channel in the creation of free arts education become a member on patreon we have fins on the head kind of around like the ear section you could have it so that the fin is elf like like you can have the function of the ear work exactly the same but then you can extend just the cartilage of the ear and make this into a fin you can maybe have them move you can do something like that you could make it more gill like so if you were to if you just kind of had the ear down here you have the fish gills some people place them down here so it's like you have the ears and they continue down into here because what that does is you can have these fins attached to the neck and that'll kind of help continue the cycle of gills because that attaches to your windpipe down here and that'll help in that turn if it's on the top of the head that's a little bit funky because that one isn't necessarily a placement that you would have a fin at all that's not 100 percent just aesthetic because at the top of the head there's really no function that it can serve up there so what you can do is just like have it function just like an ear and you can just extend the cartilage out you could even have the ears like move they can work like a normal fin would but function or aesthetic this is technically like just perfectly fine if you liked what you saw be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss an upload Join our art community with the links down below if you'd like to support the channel in the creation of free arts education. Become a member on Patreon for working files, behind the scenes posts, and discounts on our class offerings. If you enjoyed this video, here's a couple other videos you can check out next.